Welcome or welcome back to the shed, or should I say the madness I've been here telling. But uh, my name is Justin and I am a part-time reseller. I work in this shed, this madness in my backyard. And I sell on eBay and Macari and try to sell on Poshmark and other places too. And, and well, I've had great sales this weekend. In fact, the last 24 hours have been really, really good. And uh, it's the long, it's a long weekend this weekend. Uh, it's Memorial Day weekend. And for those outside the United States, uh, that is uh, yesterday, Monday, the 29th of May was Memorial Day. And it's where we, we remember those uh, that have given the ultimate sacrifice, have died in the, the service uh, of our country and our military. And so uh, we honor them on that day. And uh, so this is Tuesday. Uh, we're back to, uh, back to work, my regular job. And I'm shipping and I have a bunch of stuff to ship today. It's like 15, 17, there's a bunch. And so this is gonna be its own video one day. And to be honest, I'm not really sure where to start. Willie, should we do the big sales last? All right, Willie McGee says we should do the big sales last. So let's start off with, well, a coffee mug. I sold a coffee mug. It's gonna be back over here, let me grab it. Well, it is this one right here. It is a vintage CompuServe coffee mug uh, in pretty good shape. It just had this weird like dent in it right here, but that was, uh, well, it was a cheap mug like 20 years ago or whenever this was made. Uh, this, uh, it, I, I saw two of these. This is the second one I've had that sold and I paid 50 cents, I think, for it at a yard sale. It was just too cool to leave behind. This one sold for $8.99 plus shipping. I did sell a few video games that I had. Well, I've had them in my death pile. I bought them last year with a Wii and they've been sitting in my storage unit. I finally got around to testing all my Wiis and I uh, got the games tested and listed and they're selling. They're not huge, but let's grab them. So the first one here is Sonic uh, and the Secret Rings and it is case and disc, no manual, uh, but uh, this sold pretty quick for $10 free shipping, which is gonna equate to about six bucks plus shipping after I ship it. Also for the Wii is this Monster Hunter Try uh, game and uh, you know, it's in pretty good shape. It does have the manual, same thing, listed it and it sold pretty quick, $10 free shipping. I did sell a DVD. It's gonna be here on my media shelf. I'm gonna have to dig it out because I'm not sure where it's at. I'll be right back. It was not buried too deep. This is Celtic Tiger starring Michael Flatley. Looks like it's a dance performance. And this sold for $5.99 plus shipping. I paid either 50 cents or a dollar for this one, I'm sure. Also on that same media shelf is gonna be a book I sold. It's one I've had listed for a while. And I think it's right there behind you. Okay, it is in this brown box right here. And uh, it's kind of a fancy box, uh, Desert Dream, Desert Romance. It's the history of Royal Palms Resort. And there it is right there. Uh, pretty niche of a book, I guess. Uh, if you've went to Desert Palms, maybe you'd really want that. Not sure. The box has some damage, but it was in the listing. Picked it up for 20 cents, and this one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. And I'm not sure if this is one I can use the burrito book method on, but uh, I'll get it shipped today somehow. This is gonna be a very video game heavy video because, well, I've been listing video games because I bought some video games and pulled video games out of the death pile because I was testing things. I sold a, I sold a PS1 game, PS2 game. It's this one right here. It's disc only. It is Paw Rapper, The Rapper 2, and uh, it's a pretty awesome game. This is one of the ones I test the systems with. I really didn't want to sell it. I wanted to keep it and one of the systems, but I'm never going to have time to play it or anything. I don't play what I have now. So I listed it disc only. It sold in maybe a day or two for $27.99 plus shipping. I bought some softball pants last year early on the yard sale season, and I actually listed them pretty quick, and they've sat and sat and sat. But they sold this weekend. Dig them out of my uh, clothes box here. 
This is some Champs Sports softball pants. Uh, fast pitch is what it says on there, but I don't think it matters what pants. Anyway, uh, size small, and I'm sure I paid a couple bucks for these at a yard sale. They sold for $13.99 plus shipping. My daughter and I went yard selling Friday to the 100-mile yard sale in southern Missouri, and we picked up a couple Lego sets, and one of the two sold. It's going to be right here. Uh, it's a retired set. It's DC Superheroes, Clash of the Heroes. It's got Batman and Superman. It's from the movie Batman vs. Superman. And it's still sealed, although the box is a little wonky. And I picked up two sets for $20 total. So we could say we have $10 in each set, but really this one's probably seven and the other one 13. This one sold for $23.99 plus shipping. And so that one pays for the lot even after fees. And the other set is a little bit bigger, although the box is open, it'll sell for more and it'll be pure profit. Last year, I picked up a bunch of stamp kits that were included as like the freebie in these uh, European magazines or UK crafting magazines. And then Friday, I picked up another box of those magazines and uh, picked up the whole box for $8. One of the magazines has already sold. It's gonna be in here with my crafting stuff. And it's not the, it's this one, I think, right here. This is from Creative Stamping. And it's got the magazine in there and the stamps. And it looks like there's a an embossing folder and everything in there. A pretty cool set. Uh, if you're into stamping, uh, I think they're fairly expensive on the newsstand. And this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. As far as my listing goals go, Side Hustle Preacher kind of challenged in the Discord to list 2,023 items in 2023. And that's what I'm going to try to do so far for the year. I have 808 unique new listings that I've listed. And to stay on pace uh, for 2023, I need 5.6 a day approximately, which means uh, I need 856 by this Friday. I was a little shy of last week's goal, but I'm only about 50 off. So it's totally doable to get back on track. And that's what I'm planning on doing. Let's get back to those sales. All those orders have been on eBay. I did have one Mercari order come through and it came through this morning. I accepted an offer. There are two of these coffee mug boxes. Those are marked A. I think I sold the Bs. All right, so these are breakable, so I'm gonna be very careful, but here are the B mugs. They're pretty cool. I'm gonna open here so I can show you they are these, uh, they're pretty cool mugs. They are, they have leaf imprints on the outside and they're rough on the outside, but they're nice and smooth on the inside. And uh, they do have a price tag, but they are signed as well. And so that's how they were listed. I think I purchased these for two or $3 a piece. And I have, I bought four of them. This is the darker colored set, the A set. They're a little bit lighter. And I think I had it listed for $35. And I accepted an offer this morning for two mugs for $30 plus shipping. And they're gonna be easy to ship. I'm just going to put it back in these boxes, put those boxes in another box so they're double boxed and they'll get there no problem at all. Uh, pretty nice little mugs. We have reached the point of no return. Everything from here on out that sold was sold on eBay. It's all video game related and almost all of it I listed in the last like three or four days. The first up is this, uh, well, it's a Udraw tablet for the Wii. This came in that Wii lot I bought last year and has been sitting in my storage unit, actually with the red Wii that I sold on the last video. And this includes Pictionary and the Udraw Studio. I tested it, the pad works, the games work, and they're not worth a whole bunch, but they sold for $7 plus shipping. I know $7 is not a huge amount, and some may say, I wouldn't even waste my time with that, but I'm already in the profit for that lot. And this is just another $7 or five fifty dollars or whatever after fees to add to the top. I sold an Xbox 360 game. This is one of the few that I didn't list this last week. It's one I picked up at a yard sale about a month ago. And I think I paid a quarter, I think. Maybe 50 cents for it. It is Beatles Rock Band, which is one of the better Rock Band games. I just wish you could have imported the songs into the regular rock band. I had a huge catalog back in the day. Anyway, this sold for $4.99 plus shipping. Not a huge sell, but 10 times what I paid for it at least. I listed three Nintendo Wiis last night. You're gonna see all three in the next few minutes. 
The first one is console only, and it's right back there. This one is an RVL001 console. It has the GameCube compatibility and the ports are right there. I sold another one of these just like this Friday and shipped it Friday, it was in the last video. And I actually sold that one as I was getting out of the car to go to the yard sale where I found this one. And so I knew this one would sell. Uh, it sold in less than a day, it sold this morning, and this sold for $40 free shipping. Now this is just the box itself, no cords, no cables, no games, no controllers, uh, and it'll ship for $9 or less. And so it'll be super easy to ship because it's, well, it's square. So that's one Wii down, two to go. The next one is right here. This one is Wii number three and it says to repack. I will have to uh, repack it. Let me open it up and show you what's in it. So this is a black Wii. It has two black remotes. One's motion plus, one's not. Uh, it's got a nunchuck, the sensor bar. It's everything you need to play, actually. Uh, there is one game, it's a need for uh, for speed racing game in there. Nothing fancy, but I included it in the bundle. This sold this morning for $49.99 plus shipping. And the buyer left a note, please do not include any invoices or seats or paperwork inside the package. Also, please test it thoroughly, clean before shipping it out, and they will leave positive feedback. So I got drop shipped, which is super fine. $49.99 is great for that. That is one of the Wii's, well, it's a Wii I bought last year, uh, but it's a conglomeration of different things. So. The white Wii we just showed, I got that with cables and a Wiimote, uh, but uh, these black Wiis didn't have some of those. And so I've mixed and matched to make the bundles I want. I knew that white one would sell by itself, but these without the GameCube compatibility are better in bundles. And so that's how I listed it. That's how it sold. And it sold in less than a day. Next up is Wii number two. Well, it's the third one you're seeing, but it's labeled Wii number two. This one is pretty much exactly the same, except for the game. This one includes Wii Sports, two Wiimotes in there, all the cables, cords, nunchuck, everything you need. And because Wii Sports is in there, I listed it a little higher. That one sold almost instantly, in like 10 minutes after listing, for $54, $55.99 plus shipping. We are down to the last two sales and Willie wanted me to save the best for last, so that's where we're at. I sold two PS2s that I listed last night. I had four, listed them, and two have already sold. Let's grab the first one. These were also labeled to repack. I didn't bubble wrap them or anything yet because I wasn't sure how long I'd sit on them. This bundle includes a silver PS2 Slim, a silver controller and a black controller. There's a memory card in there, all the cables, and Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 2. And this bundle just sold this morning and it sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Which means the last item is right here. It's also a PS2, it's PS2 2, I guess. And labeled repack. This one is very similar. It has a black Slim and it has Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 in it, but it does have two controllers, all the cables, cords, and a memory card. And that one sold last night, not too long after I listed it, also for $99.99 plus shipping. Well, those are the 17 items I have going out so far for the day. My workday is over. I finally got everything packed up. The stack is huge. Uh, this whole chair is full. I got all those consoles and the shoe boxes and, and these boxes here too. Pretty good day, Willie. I think that's a yes. Thank you for hanging out there with me today. I had a great sales weekend and Monday, I guess. A lot of these sales came in this morning and uh, I did have a few more sales come in this afternoon. One I can't wait to show you tomorrow, but it'll be on the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me again. Uh, do the like and subscribe and the things down there. Let me know what your favorite item I sold was or what uh, you'll be looking out for now or uh, those terrible small sales that uh, you would avoid. Uh, let me know. Uh, let's have a conversation. I hope you all have a great day and God bless.